whether you're a fan of Rick and Morty or not, and if you're not, you should be. You've probably heard some of the hoopla surrounding the whole McDonald's Szechuan sauce ordeal. If you haven't, stick around for the story, because while it is somewhat interesting, it's not the point of this video. This image is. So this popped up on my Facebook feed the other day, courtesy of Binging with Babish, and I thought I might give it a whirl. So if you didn't manage to score yourself a packet with a Szechuan sauce, or if you did but you're just jonesing for more, you're probably asking yourself, where can I still get some? But the question you should be asking yourself is, how can I make my own McDonald's Szechuan sauce? The short story is that in 1998, as a tie-in to the movie Mulan, McDonald's released a special Chinese-inspired promotional sauce for their McNuggets. They served it for a few months, and once the promotion ended, the sauce disappeared. Now like most limited release promotional items, Szechuan sauce developed a devoted and frustrated fan base who lamented that they would never taste it again. The other 99% of the world either completely forgot about it, or just never had it in the first place. And so, life went on. Or at least it did, until April 1st, 2017, when the season 3 premiere of Rick and Morty mentioned Szechuan sauce. I'm not driven by avenging my dead family, Morty. That was fake. I I'm driven by finding that McNugget sauce. Nuggets. I want that Mulan McNugget sauce, Morty. Mulan. That's my series arc, Morty. Hell? If it takes nine seasons, I want my McNugget tipping sauce, about, Szechuan man? sauce, Morty. That's what's that's gonna take what us all the way to about? the end, Morty. Now, it was intended as a throwaway joke, but it ignited a sh storm. McDonald's eventually announced that they would be re-releasing the sauce due to popular demand. However, they only released it for one day, October 7th, 2017. A date which will live in infamy. And only in about 200 restaurants, and each restaurant only got about 20 packets. This resulted in long lines, mostly of Rick and Morty fans, but with other curious onlookers as well, all trying and mostly failing to get their eager little hands on the sauce. Tensions ran high, tempers flared, things generally got ugly, and Rick and Morty fans were left with a severely tarnished reputation. Now the recipe directions are simple enough on the surface, but the list of ingredients is downright bizarre. So much so that that alone would probably deter most people from even attempting this. But what really caught my attention as I was running down this list was that, no matter how obscure or bizarre, I actually have every single one of these things in my pantry right now. Yes, even Marmite and Xanthan gum. Call it kismet, call it serendipity. Maybe we're just fortunate enough to be living in the one universe out of the infinite possible universes where I, at some point, bought all this crap and then shoved it in the back of my pantry to collect dust until this precise moment. Whatever the case, let's get started. Let's head to the pantry and start gathering ingredients. Here's that recipe again. Pause and rewind if you need to, because I will not be showing it again. Okay, we got water. That's pretty obvious. And white vinegar. Let's check up here, and there is the white sugar and the cornstarch. We'll head over to the spice rack for onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, and somewhere in here should be ground ginger. There it is. Now back to the pantry, and ooh, it's a lot worse than what I expected, but I think I see everything we need. Let's start with the soy sauce, corn syrup, that should be apple cider vinegar, yep, and what else? Oh, sesame oil. Now if I were xanthan gum, I think I'd be in this corner behind all these other weird ingredients. Could that be, yep, that is the xanthan gum. And if I remember correctly, the last place that I saw Marmite in here was all the way in the back, past the peanut butter, and about halfway to Narnia. Is that it? Yep, that is the Marmite. 
Now I don't know how long this has been back here, so I'm not sure if it's still good. But the great thing about it is, even if it's gone bad, who could tell? So now that we've gathered up all the ingredients, basically all we're going to do is mix everything except for the cornstarch and the xanthan gum together into a pot. So now we'll just whisk everything together in the pot. Uh, the Marmite in particular is uh, very thick and chunky. And once that's combined, we're supposed to pull out a quarter cup of the sauce, add the cornstarch, and then mix it back into the sauce. Now I have absolutely no idea what the reasoning is behind separating like this, but this is a new recipe. I've never tried it before, so I'll just go ahead and stick to the directions. Let me just grab the cornstarch from out of there and, oh! I'm pickle Rick! Get out of there, this recipe doesn't call for pickles. So now once the cornstarch is in the pot, they tell you to take another quarter cup of the sauce out, put it in a bowl, add the xanthan gum, and then strain it back into the pot. Again, I'm not really sure what the point of these steps is because that's not really the way that starch works, but eh, what do I know? Not like I'm a professional chef or anything. And now we just whisk continuously over medium heat until it attains the desired sauce-like consistency. For the record, this only took about five minutes. Now we just strain it one last time, then we're going to cover and cool. Try that. <laughs> well, what does it look like? <laughs> it looks like a goopy mess. <laughs> yeah, okay, we won't discuss what it looks like. Seriously, just stick your finger in and give it a try. I put my finger in the bum. <laughs> what is it? It's, it's so pretty, good! It's pretty good, right? That's McDonald's Mulan Szechuan sauce. You made it? I did. That is really good. <laughs> Tangy and spicy. Like yeah. You They're want just... Szechuan sauce? Come to our house. <laughs> I'm not giving you my address. I saw what happened at all those McDonald's. I'm not letting anyone know we have this. <laughs> so the only way to do a true taste test of this sauce is to use some authentic McDonald's chicken McNuggets. It's the one thing I can't make at home. So we are on our way to McDonald's to get the real deal. Uh, I also heard that uh, when they released the sauce earlier this month, they did so in conjunction with their new buttermilk tenders. And a lot of people who tasted the sauce said it would, uh, it actually went way better with the new tenders than with the old McNuggets. So I'm going to go ahead and get one order of each, and then we'll go back home and we'll see how we did on the sauce. And the funny thing is that half of that episode actually took place inside of a Shoney's. And I don't remember hearing any sort of riots at Shoney's. Kind of a double standard, don't you think? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I kind of want to ask them if they have any of the Sichuan sauce or if they got any of it, but uh, I have a feeling that funny questions at the McDonald's drive through are only funny at like 3 in the morning. The people who work there during the day don't seem to have much of a sense of humor. You want anything, kid? <laughs> <laughs> you grow some teeth and then we'll talk. Do you want anything from McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? He wants nuggets, because he's a nugget. Nugget cannibalism. What? What are you crying about? <laughs> How do you notice know to smile when the camera's on him? <laughs> Chalu? <laughs> Can you say, please give me an order of chicken nuggets? Uh, can I get a number seven? Now, can I also get uh, 
of six piece of uh, buttermilk crispy tenders. You didn't ask for a chef's one sauce. <laughs> I was gonna ask, but uh, with the line being so long, uh, I want to make sure that they don't spit me up. Can I take you home and dip you in Szechuan sauce, you little nugget? Achievement unlocked. McNuggets acquired. Uh, okay, we've made it back home. We're all set up and we're ready to taste. Let's see, the sauce is still holding up pretty well. I did actually add a little extra water to it because as it cooled, it thickened until it was basically just brown jello. Start with the classic McNugget first. Promising as far as texture goes. Let's see how it is. Mm. Okay, that is actually really good. All in all, I can see why so many people were so obsessed with this sauce. This is actually really delicious. Thumbs up. Now let's try it with the tenders. Hmm. Yeah, everything I heard was right. The sauce is good on the McNuggets, but it is like 10 times better on the tenders. I approve. Alright, let's get an unbiased taste test. No, not yours. We're not interested in your opinion. You, what do you think? You know an opinion is good when a fat person gives it to you. <laughs> so I'm digging in. Got my nugget. Mmm. Nice good layer of sauce. Mmm. I think you've uncovered a secret over here. <laughs> the secret McDonald's it's doesn't want you to it. know. You know, people were selling this sauce on eBay, like packets of the sauce for like hundreds of dollars. Mmm. Mmm, it's super good. Hey, how's it with fries? Mmm. Oh, it's killer on fries. Mmm. 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 -mm. Watch me eat and watch me do mm mm because it's really good. Watch me eat, watch me mm mm. <laughs> <laughs> watch me eat, eat, watch me mm mm. <laughs> okay, well I think this is an unqualified success. So I'm not gonna do any sort of long uh, wrap up or conclusion to this because I am way too busy stuffing my face. Like honestly, I can't stop long enough to, to record this. So if you like this recipe and you think you might want to give it a try, I highly recommend it. While you're at it, why don't you go ahead and like this video? Share it with your friends or subscribe. We're always doing stuff like this. You never know what you're going to find. Boom! Big reveal. I'm a pickle. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time. I'm Pickle Rick!